When I said I didn't know any, what they were talking about, they beat me up. And they kicked me. I was scared to death. I'm even more for Joni than for myself. I'm sure you were. Now, did you say anything to your wife about this? You bet. I said we should use the college fund, but uh, Joni said not to. She said that she'd ask her father for the money. Well, several days later, I had to go because she kept putting it off. But behind my back, as she'd gone to him and told him that those debts were mine. Well, Mr. Campbell told me that Joni was leaving me. Did you believe Mr. Campbell? No. When I got home, she called me a working class, stupid jock. And then she was gone. I knew then that she was going to be out of my life forever. But at least I thought I had my college fund to put my life together. And tell the court, Mr. Layton, you still have plans to go to college with that money? Not anymore. When I went to the bank, though, the money was all gone. Joni said that her bookie had it all. I worked very hard for that money. But Miss Silverspoon had gambled away my last hope for anything for myself. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Cross-examination? Yes, sir, Your Honor. Mr. Layton, didn't you contribute to your wife's mental instability by blaming your child's death on her? No, nobody's to blame for crib death. When your wife said she'd like to have another baby, didn't you say, what's the point? You'll probably kill that one, too. No. I said I wanted another one. Mr. Layton, the day after you went out with Clarissa Carey the second time, didn't you make a $500 deposit into your college fund savings account? Yes, but that was uh, a week's earnings from the escort service. Last November, didn't you tell your wife you were going away for the weekend to interview at Valley State University? I wasn't going there to um, interview. I was going there to, to ch check out the campus. Your Honor, this photograph has already been entered and marked as Exhibit 1. May I approach the witness? Yes. Now, Mr. Layton, isn't this picture of you and Amanda Andrews one which appeared in the, on the Society page of the Daily Tribune on the following Monday? After I went to Valley State, I came back to the city and had dinner with Mrs. Andrews and Mr. Andrews. Was her husband with Mrs. Andrews the night that your wife saw the two of you by the firelight on the beach? That night never happened, only in Joni's fevered little brain. Isn't this the same Amanda Andrews who left a message on your answering machine saying that she had had such a good time with you by the lake that she was going to recommend you to all of her friends? She said nothing about the lake. She called because she thought that uh, Joni and I would be happy because we had new clients. Thank you very much, Mr. Layton. I don't have any further questions. Mr. Layton, let me see that picture, please, and you may step down. I want to see Councilman Benjamin. While Mr. Layton leaves the stand, we have time for a break.